Good morning, everyone. Dave from Quarter Flips. Welcome back to the channel. We all know that I'm not shopping, but there's a garage sale four miles from my house that says it has hundreds of DVDs for a quarter a piece. So I am going to that. Let's go see what they've got. Do you want a bag now for this stuff? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Oh, man, that's right. Here's some empty boxes if oh awesome thank you you need something for all oh. of that so if we're talking about these these are a quarter too any, yeah, any yeah. Quarter? can That's, you believe that i will take as much as i can get all right <laughs> well i well, only got you could 13 just take bucks. this box well i appreciate it. i actually have only got 13 bucks so i'm going to be a little selective all right but thank you and i appreciate yes. this a lot absolutely we had a dj come and buy 450 cds oh wonderful that she had put up <laughs> Wish I knew about that. He's a big guy, right? <laughs> That's how we set it up. So you could put, I don't know, 
Hello? Here, just set them right there. I think this is $12 worth. What a steal. <laughs> it's, I agree. If you trust my count. Sure. $12. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's take a look at what I bought today. Now, what I'm gonna do is up here in this corner, I'm going to put a running total of what I think I'm going to get for these DVDs. That total is not going to be the amount including shipping. It's going to be the amount I think I'm going to get after shipping. But that amount does not include any selling fees, that, you know, eBay fees or whatever. So it'll probably be about 15% less in the end. Let's take a look at what I got. First up, PlayStation 2. One PlayStation 2 game in there for some reason. Test drive, off-road, wide open. I'll probably get $5.99 for this one in the end. Red River, brand new John Wayne movie. I'm thinking $9.99 for that one. These prices may not line up with what you're seeing in my sold comps, but the amount I think I'm gonna get for it has to do with what's currently available, what people are selling it for, and what sold comps look like. So on a lot of these, I'm gonna put them up at kind of a blowout price, a price that I think I'm gonna get. People will probably buy mine before somebody else's. So keep that in mind if the number I say doesn't line up with what you see up here. The Great Gatsby, new and sealed. Robert Redford, Mia Farrow, $6.99. Magnolia, new and sealed, $6.99. Limited edition movie poster inside Fox Studios Studio Classics. Black Widow, Cal Northside 777. Call Northside 777. Dangerous Crossing and Laura. I think I'll get $19.99 after everything is said and done on that one. South Pacific, $6.99. Then there were some box sets and collections. Star Trek, the animated series. I'm not 100% sure. I think there's a booklet or something that belongs in there that's not there. So I'm going to say $12.99 on this one when all is said and done. The Man with No Name, Clint Eastwood set, $6.99. Aubrey Hepburn, DVD collection, 
Breakfast at Tiffany's, Roman Holiday, and Sabrina, not worth selling. This will go to half price books or something, or go in one of my own garage sales maybe. Or if someone wants it, I'll send it to you. Just uh, say the word. But it seems like for every bust, there's a score. Charlie Chan, sealed four movie set, or I guess actually maybe it's uh, five movies, $29.99. Starship Troopers Trilogy, $9.99. That one's new and sealed. Kolchak, The Night Stalker. I think that's a complete series. And uh, on top of getting probably $9.99 for this one, I'm likely going to watch it before I sell it. Alfred Hitchcock's Ultimate Hitchcock Collection. 20 movies on 6 DVDs, new and sealed. How much do you think for that one? Probably $9.99. Horror movie classics in this awesome tin. All kinds of great horror films like Horror Hotel, Dementia 13, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, Nosferatu, Dr. Jekyll. Not worth selling. Probably going to go to Half Price Books or Speak Up. John Carpenter's The Thing. I won't make a lot off this one, but uh, I'll get $6.99 for it. And this is the kind of thing I like to sell, so happy to have it. The Shining. Not worth selling. However, I will save this one because it's one of these Kubrick collection DVDs. It's in wonderful condition. As I find these, I lock them up together and sell them as a, as a complete set. So yeah, we'll save that for another time. Hellraiser 1 and 2, $9.99. Dune Steelbook, $19.99. Audition. This is the uh, Takashi Miike. I don't know if I'm saying that right. $6.99. Alfred Hitchcock's Strangers on a Train, unopened. Uh, nope, not worth it, nothing. Mel Gibson, Payback, sold it many times. I'll get $12.99 after all is said and done. The Bridge at Remagen, war film. Never seen this one, uh, it's not worth selling. But I will save this one to combine with other war movies later. Mildred Pierce, $7.99. Hell on Wheels. $17.99 for that one. The Maltese Falcon, not really worth selling on its own. Also, The Big Sleep, not really worth selling on its own. But I will combine these together as a Bogart set and I'll probably get $9.99. Topper and Topper Returns. No, nothing. Zero. Double Indemnity, a movie that should be worth more money. Fred McMurray, it's awesome. Also, this has the TV version with Richard Crenna. That's Rambo's boss, Richard Crenna. Troutman. I'll get $7.99 and I'll be happy to sell this one. Let's make some more space here. Then there were a bunch of music DVDs and a Blu-ray as it turns out. Led Zeppelin, the song remains the same. $6.99. Share the farewell tour with this lenticular cover. <laughs> it's not worth a lot, but it's share, so I'm going to sell it. That's just how it is. Share's cool. $7.99. The find of the day for me. Skinny Puppy. Ain't it dead yet. This was probably the single best DVD. Maybe the single best DVD price wise. And personally, this is a big deal. I saw this band when I was in high school. Right, Bill? I had just broken my arm skateboarding. About a week later, we went down to Seattle. Saw Skinny Puppy play. It was fantastic. I think it was 1988. Bill, you'll have to correct me if it's not 1988. Leave a comment. Uh, crazy loud bass. I could feel it in the break in my arm. Uh, if you're not aware of Skinny Puppy, yeah, it's a real acquired taste that I acquired early. This one is going to go for $39.99. Jimmy plays Berkeley. I just sold a Jimi Hendrix DVD for some decent money, so I thought this would be okay, but nope, it is not worth it. The Doors, live in Europe. No? Okay, well, how about The Doors soundstage performances? No? Well, how about Storytellers, The Doors, a celebration? No? Well, how about When You're Strange, The Doors, featuring narration by Johnny Depp? No. In fact, I already have one of these listed for $7.99, and it hasn't sold. No one really cares. The Doors, I would have thought, would have been better, so I spent a buck on these. I will lot them all up together, and I'll bet you lot it up, I'll end up getting $12.99 for these. Eric Clapton and Friends Live, 1986, nobody cares. Muddy Waters, live at Chicago Fest, nobody cares. John Kay and Steppenwolf, 
a rock and roll odyssey. Actually, that one, it's all over the place. I'm going to put it up. I think I might get uh, $11.99 for that one. Junior Wells and Buddy Guy. Live at night stage. $14.99. Fleetwood Mac. Tango in the night. And I might, without admitting it to anybody, actually watch this one before I sell it too. $9.99. Concert for George. Concert for George Harrison. A little booklet and two-disc DVD set. $29.99. And Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Running Down a Dream, a film by Peter Bogdanovich, one that I will be putting in my DVD player before I sell it, and I'll get $9.99 for it. All right. Let's move this stuff out of the way, because the stuff I was most surprised and excited about to find, just because it was just kind of weird to find it, was all this Dario Argento stuff. Suspiria. $9.99. Deep Red is like a hatchet murders movie or something. $9.99. And then I thought these would be really cool. The Bird with the Crystal Plumage and Cat of Nine Tails. But they're not really worth that much. I guess these additions by, by Blue Underground just aren't that big of a deal. But that's all right. I'll sell them together for $12.99. But then Four Flies on Grey Velvet by Dario Argento. I'm going to get $19.99 for that one. And best of all... This Anchor Bay Steelbook collection, five films, Do You Like Hitchcock, Phenomena, Tenenbrau, The Card Player, and Trauma. This, I'm going to come away with $29.99. So when all is said and done on these DVDs that I got for a quarter a piece at that garage sale this morning, I will have $465.65. That is after shipping, but before fees. Still, I spent $12 total on this. So I think I think it was a good way to spend my morning. I think it's a decent amount of money to make when you're buying things when you're not supposed to be buying anything. These will photograph easily. They will go up quick. And hopefully some of them will move pretty quickly. One other really good thing about these is that for the ones that aren't brand new, I have yet to find even a scratch on any DVDs. This is like a perfectly kept collection of DVDs. The discs are perfect. So I don't have to test them. I don't have to go in and do any kind of like, oh, there's light scuffs, but they'll work. I guarantee it. None of that stuff. They're just almost like new. That definitely helps. That makes things go faster and easier. So yeah, this is what I love to do. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for coming along with me here. Please like and subscribe. I guess I can give a thumbs up for that too. That would be awesome. Please subscribe and I will see you next time.